Hi, welcome to my studio. My name is Juliana Prusès from France. During these difficult days, I would like to wish you the best during this containment and to show you some tips about post-production on Cap to One Express Fujifilm. That is the free version of Cap to One Pro. So let's jump on my screen. So welcome on my screen. So where can we find Cap to One Express? You just need to go on the website cap2one.com. You can see here. Then we will go on products, Cap to One Express, Cap to One Express Fujifilm. You click learn more. We scroll a bit. You will find the link download Cap to One Express Fujifilm. And then you can get Cap to One Express Fujifilm for free. Once the download is finished, you just need to follow the instruction to install the software. And you will discover Cap to One Express like this on my screen. Now, we just need to uh, import some images. So I will click on the icon Import here. I will go on Import from Source. Here I can choose my folder. I created on my desktop a folder with some images. I click open and I will choose only the first two. So I click this one, this one, and I click import. If I click on one image, I can see it here. Now we need to understand how Cap to One is composed. We have three parts on this software. We have here the browser, here the viewer, here the tools and we have shortcuts to play with them. With command T, we can toggle on and off the tools. Command T, command T. If I only want to call the tools when I need it, I can uh, click on command option T and call the tools only with the mouse, like this. Same thing for the browser but with the shortcut command B. Command B, I can toggle on and off the browser. If I want to call the browser when I need it, I can click on command option B and call the browser only with the mouse. For the viewer is J. I click on J and I can toggle on and off the viewer. But we have more. We can now switch the position of the tools and the browser. With command shift T, I can switch left and right tools and browser. Command shift T, like this. Command shift T again, and we have this disposition. With command shift B, I can switch the position of the browser from left to bottom. Command Shift B, like this, Command Shift B to the left. In this position, I think it's a good start for um, those who are coming from Lightroom. Like this, we um, can have the software in the same presentation of Lightroom. Now, if I want to see these both images on my viewer, I only need to uh, select with shift another image, like this. Okay, now I would like to show you some easy steps to post-produce an image shot in studio with a Fujifilm GFX 50R inside Cap to One Express Fujifilm. There is something unique between Fujifilm cameras and Cap to One software. Fujifilm developed some amazing color profile you can find inside their cameras. And a lot of people praise the quality of the straight off camera JPEG. Now, inside Capture One, you can apply the same color profile to the raw data. This way, you can have a perfect match between what you saw on your camera and what you see inside Capture One. But now you can go further and apply your own interpretation of what you saw or what you want to see from this scene you shot. In this example, I shot this uh, image 
on studio with a across color profile on my camera. So Capture One read the EXIF and apply automatically the same across color profile on the raw data. So what you see here is what I saw inside my viewfinder during the shot. But what if now I would like to change the color profile and maybe work in color? So I can go here inside the base characteristic tool and under curve, I can change the color profile. You have all the Fujifilm color profile and the one developed by Cap2 One, the film standard. So here I would like to choose the Astia color profile from Fujifilm. Now for more comfort, I will switch the position of the browser from bottom to the left with command shift B. The first thing to do is to choose the crop we want for this image. I would like to change the original 3 by 4 ratio for a 4 by 5 ratio. So I click on the crop tool, this icon, and I adjust my crop and I click enter to validate. I go to the lens correction tool here to apply a first stage sharpening here and to correct the light fall off at this particular aperture here. Now I'm going to work on hues, saturations and luminosities. To work on you, I'm going to use the white balance tool you can find here. With Kelvin, I can change all hues between blue and yellow, and with tint, between green and magenta. To work on luminosities, I will work with the Exposure, Eye Dynamic Range, Clarity and Curve tools. To work on saturation, I'm going to show you a little tip for better result. If you only need to decrease saturation, instead of using saturation here inside exposure tool, you can go here on color editor tool with this icon and with this slider. Now I'm going to work locally. I would like to change luminosity on yellow, orange and red hues. To do it, I will for instance choose red patch and I will edit the color this patch selects. And then edit the luminosity. Okay, now the work on this image is finished and I would like to show you a before and after. If I click on this icon reset, I reset everything I've done on this image. I will undo that. But if I press an old option and toggle on and off reset, I have a before and after. But as you see, the before is with our across color profile. Here, I would like to create a real before with the new Astia color profile. So I will right click on this image inside the browser and choose new variant. I will place this image before, choose a Astia color profile and copy the crop. So, option and click on this icon and paste with command shift V. I will shift the both images and we have our before and after. I can zoom in at 100% with just a double click on the image 
inside the viewer. And I can do same on both images by holding shift double click. And if I hold again shift, I can move both images. I will finish this image by choosing my sharpening. Okay, now I would like to invite you in the next video to show you what more we can do in the pro version of Capture One. See ya!